Michelle Knight are safe, but what an ordeal they have gone through. Joining us right now is former FBI agent Tim Dimoff. He is now with SACS Consulting. There are so many questions, Tim, about this, but a few are really at the top, including how were these three women and a child concealed for such a long period of time? Well, I think as time goes on, we're going to figure out this was a very, very elaborate plan, both from a physical confinement, both from carrying it out to, to kidnapping three women, and also we're going to find out a lot of psychological, emotional things that went on that were tools and traps to keep them confined. Do you think there is any way that this person uh, worked alone, Ariel Castro, that he was on his own in this? No, he, he could not work alone, in, in my opinion, because there was three women and, and, and he had to leave and he needed someone else to help him maintain that confinement. What do you think about profiling these three brothers? Uh, uh, what do you think would be the motive, the underlying motive for all of this? Well, the underlying motive is they have some type of incentive that all three of them, I believe at this point in time, points to three women, three men, with a plan, and, and I think it was a bad plan, I think it was a terrible plan, and they really confided only in each other. I don't know if there's gonna be other people. Do you think it is likely that they remained at this same location for the duration of their captivity? If, if they constructed something internally in that house to keep those women confined. Like a safe room or something. Safe rooms, rooms with locks and steel doors or good locks. And plus, if they do the right psychological and emotional things, you can control a person and it's not hard. It's a slow brainwashing and there's a whole process to it. What kind of questioning is going on right now by FBI agents? You're a former FBI agent. What kind of questions are they asking these women? They're asking the, the women, um, they want to know the details, how it started, how did they maintain it, and they really want to know first and foremost right now, were there any other people involved? Because the first thing they got to find out right now, is there anybody else involved? That is the number one thing. How orchestrated yeah. was this? And I think a lot of us caught Amanda Berry's uh, reference to, I've been in the media for 10 years. She knew something was, she knew she was still in being talked about on television and newspapers. I can guarantee they confined those ladies, but they let them watch TV and they sat there and watched their lives be talked about. Oh. Wow. Tim Dimoff, former FBI agent, many thanks for coming with us, being Thanks with us today. Much. We're going to take a break. This is News Channel 5, the noon hour. Back in a moment.